Hello guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to show you four great websites where you can get free PDF children's books. Now a little dis disclaimer, these are all websites where you don't have to sign up to, okay? So I'm sure there are lots of different websites where you can go and sign up and have a wide variety of different children's books you can get. But these websites are merely ones that you can just simply go on to, click download, and they are yours. Obviously, before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, we're nearly on 300 subscribers, which is insane. Like this video and go over to my Facebook page and like and follow me there. Website number one is freekidsbooks.org. This website, in my opinion, is really well organized. At the top, it's kind of got the selection of what books will cater for who, so what grade you might be in, foreign languages and age group. And down the side is just the categories of the different books. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to access some of these books. If I scroll down, and here, for example, I've got Classic Tales, Grades Free Reader. Okay, got lots of different categories to kind of narrow down your search. And to access it, you click Download PDF, click it once, and it will pop up. This book's fantastic anyway because it's big. It's got three different uh, fairy tale books. In addition, it's got some additional uh, focus uh, keywords in it. So if, as I scroll down, it's starting to look at Aladdin and it tells you where Aladdin is in the world, Alice in Wonderland in the world. It's really focused, got lovely illustrations and the text is brilliant. So website number two is megamousebooks.com. Now, compared to the last website, it isn't that attractive in how it is seen and it's not really that well organized, but I'm gonna talk you through how to get the most out of this website because it has lots of free eBooks to download. So you're gonna scroll down to see, get the list of free stories. So then once you've done that, it will take you to a page and it'll say new three books. And every single blue text here is a hyperlink to a PDF of that book. So if I go back up and if I look at Earthshakers here, I'm gonna click it once. It'll then take me to here. Now on the left, it's got the book on its website. We don't want that, we want it so it's a PDF form, that's fine. We simply just go down to printable PDF with pictures to color. Click it once. And there it is. This here is where the child can color the pictures in whilst they're reading. If you just want to get a color version, you go back and you click on PDF file. And it'll open up at the bottom of your screen. You're just going to click it once and you're going to put it up. Now all the pictures are colored in. So you have the option of one where you can color in the pictures or have one that is not colored in. And that might not be the same for all of them. If we go back, we can look at um, the moon monster. We click it once. And again, it doesn't give you the option here, but it does give you a printable crossword about space. So it's a linked activity to the book. And if I click PDF one more time here, open up at the bottom left corner and it'll take you straight to that book. And it's even got the hyperlinks in different chapters. Obviously some books are more suitable for different types of readers. So that's something to take into account, but a great website if you know how to navigate it. Website number three is www.clarkness.com. Now, this website is well engineered to reading it completely online. It doesn't mean you can get the PDF because you can, absolutely. And I'll show you how to navigate it. So you're just gonna scroll down and it's actually giving you opportunities to easy to read picture books. You then got reading books associated with a child with dyslexia. You've got beginner reader story collections, 39 of them. Here you've got reader story collections, 160. Here we've got beginning reader collections using the word, the letter C. Okay, and we go down to more picture books and more dyslexic based stories. So if I wanted to have a look at the beginner reader story books, I'm just going to click it once. And as I scroll down, you can clearly see each PDF doesn't include one story, it includes multiple. And in addition to that, it's organized by the level of reading. So you could start with level one by clicking the bear here and I'll open it up as a PDF. Give it time to load up because it's got quite a few pages. Obviously, depending on your upload speed and download speed of your internet, it might vary. And it's a collection of stories for level one readers. Okay, scroll down. All right, and this is a very basic book with great pictures and a selection of CVC words. If you're obviously a slightly more advanced reader, you might want to scroll down, 
to the bottom as it goes all the way down to 38. You click on the 38 here with 15 stories attached to it. Let it load up. So again, it might take a little bit of time. And then you have a chance here to look. So now you can see the increase in the text and the ability. Obviously, the, the website itself has so much more to offer than that. You know, there's a uh, focus on dyslexia and easy to, pi uh, easy to read picture books as well. Last but certainly not least is childrensbooksforever.com. In my opinion, this is very much a hidden gem in terms of its resources that it can offer, especially for children who speak a different language. So when you start up, you're going to have a selection of these toddler books here. And again, if I want to look at Wadlow at the zoo, I just click the picture once and it will open up the PDF straight away. And these are great, well-illustrated, well-painted books, especially if you're focusing on uh, animals, they even got them in bold. Maybe that's not what you want. So you want to go to picture books, which is another variation, and all of these are different forms of pictures. So Tyrone the Horrible, which is an interesting book. <laughs> Click it once, and the PDF will open up as it always does. And obviously, guys, like I haven't said this before, go down to error here. If you want to download it to your computer, click that download button. And if you want to print it, you press print. And these ones are fantastic. The illustrations themselves are gorgeous. Okay, definitely worth having a look. And for example, if you're someone who speaks a different language, so I know uh, quite a few of you might be Indonesian, okay, or German, you might want to click on that. And this will give you a link to all the books in that particular language. They're not all the same, so I think the Danish might have some more books compared to the Indonesian uh, books, but there is variations there for you. A great website and definitely worth having a look at. So guys, uh, I'm showing these books for personal use only. Uh, I don't think it's appropriate to kind of send them out without the permission of the person who owns the website. Uh, most of them, uh, if you just ask, they will give you permission, which is fantastic. But please keep that in mind. I'm not endorsing sending them out. I'm endorsing the idea of using them to help you learn or help someone you are teaching to learn. They are fantastic books and definitely worth looking into. These are all websites you don't have to sign up for. If you've got any more suggestions of websites that you know that, oh, that, you don't have to sign up to do that, then please put it in the comment section below. I'm, sh you know, I know I'm going to miss a couple. So let me know to make it easier for everyone who's watching this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it and I'll catch you next time.